two equations that seem to go together because I'm looking at this two sevenths and this two sevenths and they're both attached to an x and I see a denominator of 14 here and a denominator of 14 here and I, I think that these go together. This one seventh I think is making the difference between the two of them. Can we start to see where it's going to probably happen here? To get one seventh to be a zero, because it's an a, it's a minus or a plus, right? Right now it's a minus or a subtraction. So I'm going to add one seventh to both sides. Now here's my confession to you as your math teacher. I am not fond of fractions. There's so many steps to them, right? I can't just add one seventh to three fourteenths because they don't have the same denominator. We can take a hint from up here though, can't we? It's going to stay a 14. This 1 7th has to turn into something over 14. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cross this out and change it to 2 over 14. One seventh plus 2 out of four, over 14 are equivalent to each other, right? A negative one and a positive one zeroes out. Three fourteenths plus two fourteenths gives us five fourteenths. So now I know those two parts do go together. I just wrote them down at first because I saw similar denominators, but I've just proven they go together. I saw that card too, and let's make, we'll look at it when we finish this part. Let me erase this because now we know we're here. What do I need to have in front of that X? That one. What's in front of it now? Two over seven. What's the opposite of the reciprocal? 7 over 2. I'm always just going to surround these with parentheses because that means I can multiply. 7 times 2 would be 14. 2 times 7 is 14. 14 over 14 is that 1. 5 times 7 is 35. 14 times 2 is We could leave it there, or we could reduce it. What could this reduce to? Five more. Yep, I'm going to take seven out of both. Now I don't want to blow your minds too much, but I could have done that before I divide, before I multiplied. Because these are across from each other. I could take this 7 out and change it to a 1 by dividing 7 by 7. And 14 divided by 7 would be 2. 5 times 1, 2 times 2. Basically, I divided 7 over 7 out. Down here, I did it after I multiplied. Up here, I did it before I multiplied. Same thing.